was it. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, we got all of our setup then. Okay. Um, can, uh, do you have your procedure sheet? Okay. Will you keep us step one? Okay. Basic pass. All right. We're going to do our basic pass. Dry the muco buckles. Okay, we're, we're, uh, so our basic pass is just verifying we're working on a tooth. So we're just making sure that this tooth needs what we treatment plan. So we're going to work on number 10, MF. Has a little L in there as well, so MFL. So step two, she said dry the buccal mucosa. So that's what the gauze is for. Wipe that area. Put my topical gel there. Again, this we're pretending because we're not going to put real stuff on decks. And then you see how she glided the syringe on my hand. She put it on my thumb and wait until my hand was in position. I keep it low on the patient's chest because I don't want to put it in their eyes. What if they're scared? Or, you know, so Doc will may put their hand back here and you're going to load it back here on their hand, wherever they like. We want to keep it out of the patient's hand because I'm going to be like, okay, we're ready. We're going to shake the lip also to distract them while we give them anesthetic. Next. Next Kayla, Kayla, that's you next. Dry. There you go. <laughs> okay, next. Place rubber dam. Thank you. Where Wait, I'm on cross that off. I got the wrong procedure now. I got amalgam. Cross that to... off. So we're not doing um, rubber dam on a procedure. So, so like Sage, Shay, Shay, thank you. Uh, <laughs> So we're going to turn off the light because the light has a yellow hue. She's going to pick the shade. There's a specific way I like my shade to be taken. So let's kind of do it on me. Okay, so my teeth are wet. Okay, they need to be wet. And where she's going to wet this because the, the wetness are going to be two different shades. One dry, one wet, going to be a different shade. So we're going to make it wet, wet. And she's going to shade match me or my patient. And then just look, kind of look at the blue bib. Yeah, look at the blue bib periodically. You got one. Do you want? What, what match? Do you, try to match me, Farola. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Are you have a cross between two shades? One, if you have a cross between two shades, that's when you're going to pull out the mirror. Okay. Mm. Pull out the mirror and ask the patient? Yeah. Okay, I have three, but I thought three. You have three? Okay, let's pull it out. So we're going to do this live since it's cooler to see it in live. So now I'm going to get my mirror, and now she's going to be shade one. She's going to cover the letters because the letters don't matter to me. She's just going to say this is our first shade, my second shade, my third shade. Which one do you like better? Okay. Okay? Hey? Here's your first shade. Mm, okay. Second shade. What shoot number are we doing it on? I like that one. Okay. Hey, we have one more. Okay. Hey. Mm, I like that one too. So let's do those other two. <laughs> and I just put one on the right and one on the left. So now you're going to hold both of them up. Now I'm going to pick. Like when you go get glasses and like close one eye. Yeah. All right. Oh, I like this better. side. Okay. Better than A2. A2. I'm an A2. <laughs> wow, there's a wow. So that's kind of how you do a shade check, okay? Especially if you have multiple shades up in there. Okay, so she's going to write it down, shade A2. We're going to add that to the progress notes later. Next step. Uh, pass high speed handpiece. Okay, we're going to cross off pass because we're not going to pass. In 14, 15 years, I've never passed a high speed handpiece. Doc loads his burr. Doc loads the burr and we're going to cut. So. We'll have our safety glasses on. We're just going to pretend for. Video purposes, we're going to adjust what we need. Oh, you're making noise back here. Oh, you're making a lot of noise. <laughs> the reset has a switch. Make sure that your water's off or on. 
There you go. Good. Ah, we missed a step. Is that on there? Is, if that's not on there, pass cotton roll. Okay, right before the high speed. Okay. Right before high speed. It's easier. easier for your suction so you're not stabbing that moco gingival tissue. Okay? And then I'm going to be adjusting. If I'm, if I'm here, don't forget, we can also add this there because since my water's pointing down, we're going to hang that to the back of the throw so you don't drown. Okay? So there we go. Let's adjust. You see she's focusing on my mirror because I need to see through my mirror. And then I'm gonna, let's switch sides, go to the back. Okay, all right. Meanwhile, she's doing that, she's gonna blow air, only air, and dry off my prep because I need, I need it dry for my slow speed. Make sure you write that down. It has to be dry for slow speed. Some of you guys like to put your uh, suction down, or put it down. Oh, he's a switch, that's why. There we go. All right, taking my the rest of my decay off. Okay, go ahead and rinse and dry. All right, next up. Spoon excavator. Okay, take our spoon just in case we need to take a little bit more decay out. All right, looks good. Pass refining instrument. Okay, if we need a refining, some doctors may not ever use this. This one is a GMT in this setup. Look towards me. Those are hand cutting setups, so if your next step doesn't say rinse off, rinse it off. And then pass etch. Uh uh. Okay, this is what you're going to switch. We got to put our matrix on first. Okay. Okay. So matrix. She's gonna pass matrix. So add that to your note. Uh uh. We're answer your teeth. Okay. I'm gonna set that in where I need right into my gingival sulcus. Okay. Need my wedge. We're gonna wedge from the facial. Right underneath that margin. So I'll show you. Oh, oh, oh. you okay? Sorry. That's why we wear safety glasses. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to wedge where my margin is. So I'll, sh I'll draw on the board real quick where I'm wedging. Okay, look up here real quick. Turn it over here. All right, so... I basically, or Doc basically took this out. Okay, so now all of this is removed. This is where the wedge needs to sit beyond the last of the margin, tooth margin. So this is the margin there. This is where my uh, wedge is gonna sit next to the gun tissue after that margin. If it sits in this margin, you're gonna make the contour of this tooth wrong. Okay, so that's why it's so important to make sure it's past the margin, as high into the gingiva we can. All right. Okay, so this causes blood. So it matrix rinse, then etch. All right. Don't forget to test it out. Make sure a little bit comes out so it doesn't squirt on my patient where I don't need it. And I'm only going to put it in the surface that we're working. So right in that hole. How long did we wait? 10, 10 seconds. Only 10. 10. <laughs> and you're going to count in your own head. And you want to hover like her. So I'm going to have to assist her because my matrix bends in the way. The reason why we're putting the matrix on first is because it causes blood. If I have bleeding in my prep, I have to start over. I have to etch again. Okay. All right, that is complete. Looks great. Okay, now you'll pass brush and bonding material. Okay. 
Don't forget, we could dim this setting. That's bright. That's dim. Okay? You could dim this setting. She already pre-dipped my brush, but as an Etta or doctor, I'm picky. Make sure my brush is bent. So I'm going to add my bond to my prep again. Also another Etta step. Here, take this. I'm going to thin it out with air. So I'm going to make sure it's thin. I'm putting this on my bib because I want just air coming out of my air water syringe. Then I'm going to lightly dash with air to thin it out. And then she's going to cure. How long do we care? 20 seconds. 20 seconds. 20 seconds pass. Click in the mouth. Click out, on and off inside the mouth. Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, 20 seconds. If you see, okay, I'm a robot again. Mm -hmm. I am forcefully holding my lingual as tight as I can. Because if material escapes through the lingual, my whole feeling is going to be messed up. So I'm literally focusing on holding that lingual, okay? I'm going to hold this lingual, and then I'm going to squirt some composite. Thank you. In my prep, how, how many millimeters? Two. Two. Thank you. Two millimeter increments. Um, let me... Uh, Adjust first. Oh. And then we move my light away because it's right on this too. Thank you. Oh, and this one's broken. Okay, so now I'm going to push it in where it needs to go. Okay, she's going to cure it for a moment. We're going to add in layers, two millimeter layers until we're full. Can you take that? Yeah. 20 seconds went by, we're fast. <laughs> Add another two millimeter increment. That's almost full. Then I'm gonna pull my matrix band. Hold on real quick, hold that, and this. And I'm going to pull this tight before she cures. Okay. Mm -hmm. Don't look at the blue light. The blue light is um, <laughs> heat, and it'll burn your cornea, and then you can't see like me. But look at the light. It's pretty, you know, I know. Burns, really? Yeah. What'd you say, Rob? So isn't it the part of the sun that burns your eyes? Oh. That, that UV light? Yep. Okay. So now we're going to look again, maybe pass a little bit more just to make sure I'm going to add some again in my proximal surface. What was that? Oh, <laughs> pull again. We should be tight now. Hopefully we have a tight contact. Mm -hmm. Contact is teeth touching. You don't want spaces. You want it to touch tight. So that's what a contact is. You want your teeth to touch tight because if you have a space, you're gonna have food catch. The tighter it is, the less food catch. Next up. Receive matrix and wedges. So she's going to pass the cotton plier, so I could take out this. Can we cure again, because since we, it's still soft, my, it'll come off in my matrix bed. Try to make it cure. This time I'll do the whole 20, okay. <laughs> so it can stay for me. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Then next. Pass the explorer to check for inapproximate. So now, oh, are you okay? Yeah. 
Uh, she passed the Explorer. Now I'm going to check my filling, make sure I have everything intact. So I'm filling to make sure what I need to adjust because I don't want to pick this up again. So I need to adjust this because it's a little le different level. That's all right. Let's check my lingual. Well, the lingual doesn't look bad. Okay, next. Remove rubber dam. Remember we crossed that off? And then pass composite finishing first. So those are over here. We have a finishing flame. And we have a finishing uh, football, okay? I'm gonna use a flame because I can access this a little bit better with the little flame. And I drop it. <laughs> Don't drop your stuff with, with a real patient. <laughs> he should have glasses too, but. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's take these out. So what I'm gonna do is adjust my facial as much as I can. Um, if you look at it, if you want to come close, you see how my incisal edge also is longer right there? I got to adjust that off. I got to adjust all this off. Make sure my lingual is even as well. So we'll do that. Yeah. So while she's holding that, you're going to be far back here. That's all just composite material I'm taking off. I need my facial surface flat or even. Okay, that looks like it's pretty good. This is sharp like an explorer, so I'm gonna fill it. This is an Etta trick, so I don't have to pick up or put this down. So I'm just gonna fill this like an Etta to see where else I need to adjust. And just right here. Okay, and just again, as you can see, I just don't rub it against the tooth. All right, now I'm gonna do my incisal edge right there. Oh, we can use a high speed. We can use a high speed and finishing burrs and diamond burrs for a temporary crown, but we cannot use any other burr because it'll cut the tooth. Look at that. Okay, that feels good. Mm -hmm. Let's check the lingual. So I'm doing, um... Finishing burr. All right, okay, I'm not done with that. This kind of um, etched the surface again, so it's kind of rough. So I'm just gonna finish it with a disc. How do I know what disc to do? The darker the color, the more coarse. The lighter the color, the more Polish. <laughs> this one isn't the right one. The right mandrel. I don't have the right mandrel. That's right. Do it this way. And then, yep, she's going to retract that lip because I can cut that lip with this guy. This, this is flexible, so you see how it's bending a little bit? Facial. Facial and lingual only. Alright, so now it looks a little bit better. Set this corner right here. Okay, go ahead. This corner, since I still have a little bit off right there. Okay. 
I think we're about good on that. So what's my next step? Pass finishing strip. Finishing strip. But before you pass that, you should pass floss. Okay. Because if, if my floss shreds, then I'll use my finishing strip. If it's too tight, I'll use my finishing strip. But if my floss goes in and out easy, I don't need the finishing strip. Okay. And we're just gonna check with floss. Nice contact, look mm -hmm. it. Good I love job, feelings. <laughs> okay, let's do finishing strip, just so you know how to use a finishing strip. You see where it's clear? We have two different colors. Again, this is coarse down here. This is polishing. So when I put it in, I'm putting it between the teeth in the clear section. And then now I'm going to do my course first, but make sure the course is facing where you need to cut. So now I, you can hear it grind. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I got to pull all the way through and now I'm going to polish. Okay, now I can test my floss again to make sure it did great. <coughs> so it should be smoother. Now I have no contact. See, if we use a finishing strip, we can take out the contact. When I didn't use it, it was already tight. Now we have a less contact. It's really loose. She heard the click. Now she don't hear nothing. Okay. So that, this guy, honestly, as an Etta, it's hard to use because you can adjust just one swipe, your contact's off. So make sure you know when, if you're going into Etta, when and when not to use this. <laughs> okay. Next. Toss articulating paper. Oh, let's talk about articulating paper. Where was my filling? Anterior. Facial. 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 So do I need to check my bite? No. Nope. No. If I if I had um, ML, do I need to check my bite? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Where does my teeth sit? Yes, on your lingual. Yes. So if I had an ML, I'm going to check my bite. But since I only... You don't have a jaw. Uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> I just look at like, Anyway, oh. so then if I had a jaw, his teeth are going to sit on the lingual, then I would adjust anything that I need because we need our bite to be the same as it was when he walked in. Okay? So that's, that's this trick. So if we are doing an uh, MF, mesial facial, do I need this? You can skip this. If I'm doing an ML, I need this. Oh, okay. okay. If I'm doing a class four or the incisal corner, I need it. Because don't forget, our teeth cross that. I mean, if everybody puts their teeth together, your uh, mandible jaw, your lower um, anterior teeth are going to hit your lingual surface. Yeah, so right now we are done <coughs> with our patient. So post up. All right, we just completed your composite filling on your anterior tooth. You will be numb for 24 hours. Um, two to two, four. Two to four. <laughs> 24. 24 hours. Two to four hours. So try to avoid eating till then. Your, com your filling is completely hardened, so you can chew as normal. Any questions? Can we drink something cold or hot? That's sensitive. Uh, you can be sensitive. Mm -hmm. Okay, here's how to answer that. This is a new filling. Let's say this tooth has never been prepped before. You're going to be sensitive maybe to hot and cold. If you have sensitivity, you should be lessening the sensitivity every day mm -hmm. up to That's two right. weeks. If you have sensitivity after two weeks or it's painful, you need to come back because those mean your tooth possibly died. We mm -hmm. may need a root canal, mm -hmm. but sensitivity, yeah, it should lessen for two weeks, up to two weeks. Cool. Okay, is this hard, ready to go? Yes. Yeah, don't forget, only amalgam takes 24 hours That's to complete. Thank you. Where did I steal? Okay. <laughs>